Hi Cyber Angels and new uh, viewers Welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm Shah uh, from the channel and I do readings and this week I'm using the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding as well the second edition and I hope you will enjoy them this week it's going to be a different spread it's going to look like um, a film and if you um, would like to have an extensive reading then you find all the information below in the description box where you can find my website or the email etc etc um, I did have a lot of re positive reactions with this uh, deck it's a beautiful deck and um, I'm going to show you a different way of reading the cards in a different kind of spread um, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as last week okay please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified I've put a video out there um, on how to set uh, it in the settings um, because you have to not only do it on YouTube but you have to give YouTube permission um, to notify you so have a look at the video if you are not sure on what I mean um, you can do it on I've done it on the laptop and I've also done it on a mobile device okay so I hope that will help you get notified on your favorite channels all right let's get started let's go over to the reading take care and enjoy hi Aquarius this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to your reading for the 14th till 20th you were the ones your reading last week just went off the charts thank you very much for liking it so much and hopefully sharing it with family and friends this reading is going to be slightly different laid out the spread is going to look more like a film so I'm just experimenting with the cards but Capricorn's reading literally blew my mind not only because of the reading but because the angels or the Sun the angels work together with the Sun we had the Sun in the reading and literally the Sun came onto the reading and it just went vroom, it just lit up it something that's a sign to me that the angels are with Capricorns so if you have a Capricorn in your chart then go and have a look because you'll get more information your reading will become more resonating resonating with you <coughs> than just your sun sign I'm sorry if you hear mowing but that's the cat uh, she is a Siamese they are known for shouting um, she <laughs> she wants to go outside but she's not going to okay she's an indoor cat and she's too precious to me um, to let her outside okay well um, also um, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and thank you again for liking it so much and I'm glad that you like the reading I hope you like this going to like this reading even more okay so it's like Monday Wednesday and Friday but we don't have the weekend I will show you how you can get results and see what could be happening at the weekend because this deck you can start layering and you'll get more of a story um, in a different way than using the traditional spreads I love this deck it's mind-blowing and it really expands my vision and it challenges me to see more things and feel more things well it's mind-blowing every deck is unique and has its own special thing but I like it because it's also more modern it's make keeping the cards uh, exciting although they are tarot each tarot deck is different like I was discussing with somebody yesterday um, uh, you can see more things you feel more things it's the way it's drawn or told by the author and that's how it twigs my intuition and my psyche all right so sorry about the explanation but I do love to talk to you and do want to thank you 
for liking it so much and sharing it and welcome to the new people please hit the subscribe button on all there is a video out there how to get notified uh, so have a look uh, at the video I've done it on a mobile device and on a laptop okay so I if you don't know if you're not getting notified and you have switched the button uh, or the bell on all then you have to check it out in the settings in YouTube and in your mobile device so go and have a look at the video and you can also find the review on the transparent deck back in the playlists I hope you enjoy it and also from the time to shine deck from Anne Ellis I'll leave the information below the first card that you have to open up the week with uh, Aquarius is the hanged man now isn't that simple and isn't that that gives you enough imagination you know the conifer trees uh, that have pineapples well that is what this is but if you let your imagination expand this could also be a natural beehive so it could be uh, to me that would signify you could be as busy as a bee within a group or um, um, a community but if you take it as a, a pine cone uh, then the, you might be planting seeds and there is a new beginning either way you could be busy st uh, planting seeds if you are in a community you might be actually starting something new within a community so there again my mind is working over time here um, interpreting um, it could be isolated because it's just one branch but you see new leaves also sprouting and it's this is not a leaf it's like hanging on um, a cobweb but you might not be able to see it but it is sort of shining it's yellow it's like the shine the light yellow I don't know whether I can show it to you much closer perhaps that is a better idea perhaps you can see it now I hope you can see the yellow around there so it that to me is like a holy light the light of sorry the light of the um, of spirit or the divine so you are also a little bit in the limelight although <coughs> the hanged man does not uh, mean that you are in the light but that could be his halo like in Wayne uh, not Wayne Dwyer um, Rider Waite's deck you've got the halo around the hanged man so this is a spiritual card as well it might say mean to you personally uh, taking time out uh, or taking a break from something the hanged man also means meditation or contemplation and evaluation now you have the time to do that or take the time out to do this so that you know what you where you're going um, as you always as people do plan things when they've got a new start like moving home strategically planning step by step so they can get to their goal now the hanged man also means delays there might be delays now four hours four days four weeks or four months I won't go any further than that if I do do a reading then I set the intention for time because I find it very difficult uh, to mention time or to see time um, and I usually don't want to do that um, but with my experience if I do get a time then uh, it is it has been proven to be precise which is very scary for me because I'm only a human and a channel okay now um, this might be taking time so you have to take time out to be to plan the move or anything else but your next step perhaps your next step within the community or business take advantage of this delay or postponement 
you will get there. And remember, the hanged man uh, climbed up into the tree to hang upside down because he was bored. And that is the mytholog uh, mythological story behind it. And he, he, you can, like, you might be ch take take a choice to take time out so if you take time to contemplate and evaluate then perhaps you can shorten the time of delayment but don't force it because the delay could have been laid upon you by spirit or the divine or by a company that you work for because of the COVID there are always reasons so use it wisely be strategic okay you'll get there um, also if you uh, you have to do things on your own now but um, at a later date um, once you've planned the things out first and note it down um, write it down okay so that you can refer back to it and twig it um, if if you're planning things and taking time out if you if it is something spiritual then note it down then you can see your advancement with your meditation and contemplation and evaluation now in the middle of the week you've got the two of ones so like I said take time to plan these are this is making plans you have ideas dreams or wishes or goals that you want to come make come true and that's what the two of ones means you could be forming partnerships you could be but you're definitely planning for the future this could be in romance or this could be in general in or in work life you might also be partnering up with somebody also you have the hierophant the hierophant is a head of an institution the church and he's also um, uh, well, it, it's either be, he's the head of the church, and the church represents a municipality and uh, institutions, and he is an adv uh, an advisor to his pupils. Usually, in the traditional tarot, you see two young priests, um, one with a book and one with uh, uh, something practical. Um, so one represents the practicality of sites, the working sites, the action sites, and the other one, thoughts, meditation, and learning, wisdom. And then you've got the crossed key for the conscious and the subconscious. You want to bring something in the subconscious, planning, into the conscious. And you might need advice from somebody mature, usually a man. This could be a doctor, this could be a bookkeeper, this could be uh, somebody that plans and st uh, makes strategies to make a, a business grow. Sorry about that. <coughs> like I said, you might be seeking advice uh, and go to an advisor to make your business grow with regarding to um, this partnership or ideas coming into, fru uh, into the material world like you might have to patent something so you have to see a certain person to make a patent a patent for you uh, for an idea you might be an inventor and you've got a new idea but you want to protect this n this thing that you've invented so you have to patent it sorry about my English sometimes it's wrong uh, so bear with me so you might be doing that or you might be getting married in this case uh, you've been planning that and you've been waiting there was a delay because of the COVID and so you couldn't have the church wedding that you wanted because not a lot of people are allowed in to be together so you are seeking advice from your spiritual guide because you do have two spiritual cards and this does mean uh, planning for the future so you are planning for the future to get married perhaps you might be have to be more strategic in um, s the seating in the church so there is enough space between each person perhaps now you can uh, strategically plan that so you can stop the delay and go ahead <coughs> 
Okay, so that could be advice from a man. Usually it is because that's what the basic meaning means. This could be a father figure. This could be a professional. Like I said, your spiritual guide or uh, the registry office. That's also if officiality because that's a municipality. And um, it could be church or um, the registry office or a lawyer because there's other also other forms and ways to uh, officially be together and that is by uh, getting a, a living together contract or a partner contract as they call it in Holland so that's also seen as a marriage now we're going to start layering and I'm not layering on top of them like last week like that but I'm going to make a film out of it because you've got these little squares and it looks like the old film because it is plastic it looks like the old film the cine film that you used to have and if you look at it good uh, very well closely then you see that the two people are planning or you are planning for the future and you actually see a man going towards the idea the hanged man and you can also interpret this as going towards peace you're the you've got the king of pentacles here so you could be uh, forming a relationship or a partnership with the king of wands which is aries but don't exclude um, Leo or Sagittarius because I rather take the element the the all over meaning all of the signs but the king does represent Aries so there could be an Aries that could be your advisor the Hierophant or you could be partnering up with an Aries but also a Leo or um, a Sagittarius and he's going towards the delay the calmness the tranquility the spirit spirituality of the hanged man so he might be coming in and helping you taking action as he stands for action logic uh, logically strategic he's, he's lo so logical and very strategical mm, that's when he jumps into action because he's creative and logical he thinks about things he plans things out and so he might be the advisor like I said and he will help you uh, to uh, stop the delay or break the delay Wow so things might be coming towards you much quicker uh, Aquarius then you anticipate it it could be your father that is an Aries or a Leo or a Sagittarius and he's very good at being logical and strategic and he will give you suggestions that what you can do to break this delay Wow this is exciting or you could if not if you're not meeting a, a man uh, of such sorts then you could be taking a page out of the um, fire signs book the king of Pent uh, ones book and you might have coming into action because now you've got new ideas you're putting it into action you're taking the action you are creative about it and you're definitely certain of what you want and how to go about it because that is this man he is like the Queen they go after what they want they take the action they don't take no BS right and this could be you you're leaving your plans behind coming into action because you've taken the time the hanged man you've taken the time out and you've got the idea and you're taking action you can see the path ahead is clear okay now you can turn these cards all the way around doesn't matter and this is back to front but it doesn't matter it just gives you an other dimensional meaning okay if he like it it lies back to front now so if I turn it round it's slightly lying lower between the hierophant and the back of this person so let's just take the this meaning this way 
and I'm going to put it on the other card so that you can see it becomes a film. You see, it is already earthed. So the other one was slightly higher than this one. So it is happening now. For me, this is happening now. Everything is in alignment, literally and figuratively. Um, it's already birthed. Like I said, you're going into action, you're taking action because you've had the time out, you've used it purposefully and you are literally coming into action and making it happen. It's all the ideas already born and you're putting it into action. Look, this is the tree, it's already in the earth. You see that? So, you're coming, there is a face coming to an end there is a new beginning okay this could be a birth of a child but this could be also uh, the birth of your idea coming to fruition for everybody it is different so if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your rising sign or have a look at your moon sign sorry about that so I want you to see it clearly and it's absolutely amazing. It's This is like 3D, you know? It's like the sunrise. If you look at it in this car, in this way, it looks like the sun is rising, finally for you. And it is also the colors of the rainbow, so that means heaven and earth is here. The divine is showing a sign to you that it's okay to go forward with your plans okay you're coming out of your this could also be a cocoon you're coming out of the cocoon you're no longer the caterpillar you are the butterfly so spread your wings because you've got the advice from the hive and how to do that you are going to become one wow also the um, the wheel of fortune because this is the wheel of fortune uh, means you might be going on holiday. This could be your honeymoon. You could be going uh, moving home. Okay. Um, this is also your karma card. Um, and I also have to think of Reiki with this deck because it's just like the sign Daisyku. Um, right, and that is one of the signs. So healing is here. And I'm sending you healing with by saying that and doing that. So you are all right. Luck is on your side. Remember, this is also the karma card. So what goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. So if you've done good, it's going to be brought back to you threefold. And I think that is why in this deck it's magic because it's like the colors of the rainbow. Somebody from heaven all the divine, all the angels are sending you the goodness back threefold. Lovely. The same if you've done bad. And if somebody's done you bad or good, they will get their karma. I do love the, the, to, uh, the fortune and the world because those are my karma cards. And it's fi nice to see that karma, the word karma, uh, will be paid back and you can literally see it here wow you have risen above it look at that the tree is uh, standing higher than the ball of karma you have walked away in the past you've been wise like the hierophant you've been wise and walked away from the drama you have stood your ground you are as strong as a tree Wow, this I tell you, this deck works for me so magically. Wow, there's no other deck like this. So you've come a long way from being in the cocoon to the king of wands. You have got your karma and you've got this new beautiful beginning to put your plans, your ideas into the material and 
then you know I've got other decks like the Lenamon and Oracles and uh, I also when I see a tree a tree is uh, means in the Lenamon means health your health has improved perhaps or um, you have spread your wings because of the cocoon um, spread your wings and you feel free you don't feel tied up anymore you've walked away from drama perhaps that was the advice that you needed um, from a certain person a spiritual guide because in here it looks like they are fight they are ready to start fighting you have stood above because the tree is high and its branches spread out it's like spreading your wings you felt chopped off and now you are ready to spread your wings you're standing above it like here the king he's standing above these people wow absolutely magic I hope you have found your path and that you are willing to um, believe in yourself and that karma has returned to you threefold in the positive way your plans are coming to fruition the karma is behind you now because you've risen above it well done now the um, uh, angel card from um, Anne Ellis Tarot the in, uh, go and have a look at her channel because she I will leave her information below click on uh, her little uh, link and she does readings for the week as well she's a lovely lady she comes from England take action well you've got orange so that is also the action card time to avoid any drama and confrontation focus on the light remain positive well that is your whole story Wow you have gone from the dark into the light look at that umbrella okay the storms are over you've gone into the light beautiful I like her wellies <laughs> Wellingtons <laughs> and from the answer of the angels is listen to your intuition that is what you've done with the hanged man the spiritual card okay beautiful listen to your intuition you've done well you're ready for the action Aquarius I hope you've enjoyed this video sorry about the interruptions but I do edit whilst I'm reading um, uh, the f next reading so that's why you get the disruption take care be blessed and stay safe and good luck on your journey love you please like and share ciao ciao